Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV, and in this video I want to show you three ways how to bend PVC pipe without any specific pipe bending tools to get yourself a pretty cool little shape like this. You can do anything you want with these methods. So if you're working on a project and you don't want to go to a store or you don't have the time to get some fittings or some elbows and stuff like that for your PVC pipe, you can use one of these methods to simply bend your pipe to go around any obstacles that you're running into. So without further delay, let's begin. The first method I want to show you involves using hot sand. This is also my favorite method because it just tends to work the best. The only downside is that you do need to get some sand. So after you visit your store or the local beach and get yourself some sand, the next step is to heat that sand up. You can either use the cooktop on your oven or even use the oven itself and just put it into bake or you can just grill it outside. I'm using a skillet here and just my cooktop. I know some people even use a torch to heat the sand up. But after about five minutes or so, the sand should be nice and hot. You can check it with any thermometer. I'm using a meter and a thermocouple here. And the optimal temperature I've found to be good is about 350 to 400 degrees. That sand at that temperature will really make the pipe malleable. So after I verify that the sand is nice and hot, I pick my test subject right here. I have a cap on the bottom of it. And then I go ahead and dump the sand into the pipe using a funnel. It also helps to measure the amount of sand that fits into the pipe before you heat it up. Otherwise you don't know how much to pour in. And if you're wondering, no, my wife was not very thrilled about all that sand on the floor. After you have the sand in there, it only takes it like 20 or 30 seconds if the sand was hot enough for the pipe to become like a wet noodle. I mean, it's pretty crazy that a solid piece of pipe becomes a wet noodle like that so quickly. And then you can either hold it with your hands until it sets, or in my example right here, I'm just using a homemade bending board, which is just a piece of wood with a bunch of screws in it. And then I align the pipe into the shape I want, and I leave it there until it cools. If you leave the hot sand in the pipe while it's cooling off, it kind of takes it forever. So it helps to dump the hot sand out of the pipe, and then it only takes it a minute or two to cool off. And two minutes later, we have ourselves a nice, bent piece of pipe. I call this masterpiece, The Snake. Looking good. The next method to bend PVC pipe is to use steam. In this example I'm using my polished tea kettle, which is already full of boiling water. I had it on there for a couple of minutes so the water is already boiling. And on my tea kettle I'm fortunate enough where the snout is large enough where I could just stick the whole pipe in there and just have the steam build up inside of the pipe. I have a cap on the other end of it. And as you can see, it doesn't take very long at all for this pipe to just go limp. But only that beginning portion of it is melted, or not melted, but heated up enough to be able to bend. And if your opening is not large enough, that snout on the tea kettle, or whatever it is that you're using, you could also use a little funnel to help direct the steam into the pipe. It takes a couple of minutes for the whole pipe to warm up, and I found that it works best to have a cap on the other end. I tried without a cap, with a cap, on it really tight. But what works the best is with the cap on just loosely. That way the whole steam travels through the pipe and it's kind of seeping out the other end, warming up the whole pipe. After that it takes about two or three minutes to warm up. And using steam, the pipe cools off really quick. So I didn't have a chance to show you how snaky it is with this one. So I quickly set it on my board into the little shape that I wanted and steam doesn't take very long at all to cool off. It only took maybe 30 seconds to a minute to cool off and harden. So here's the finished result. A beautiful slight bend, just an offset pipe, looking very good. I call this one Snake Junior. And last but not least is the fun way to bend PVC pipe. That's right to stick it into the exhaust pipe of your vehicle. Now, the only downside of this is that you can only use a short piece of pipe unless you got a large truck that has a long exhaust pipe, then you can maybe use a longer piece of pipe. But on most cars, like my Toyota Camry right here, I could only use a small piece of pipe. And another slight downside is that you do have to be revving up the car the whole time while that pipe is getting heated up. 
but no, you don't have to go beast mode on your car. You don't have to make it pop a vessel while you're revving it up. All it really takes is about 3000 RPM. You don't have to rev it up that hard. In this example, I revved it up for about four or five minutes. I sped this up by about 10 times. You can see the pipe kind of shrinking in there. And after about five minutes, I stopped revving, turned off the car, and using a needle nose pliers, took that piece of pipe out. And oh boy, was this little guy spunky. It was super flexible, like a thin rubber hose. Look at that, it just bends super easy. And without having any rocks or sand in it though, if you bend it too much, it'll kink. So if you do want to make a sharp turn, like a U-turn with the pipe, you would have to fill it up with some sand or some pebbles. But in my example, I just settled for a 45 degree bend. I left it there for about three minutes until it became hard again, took the pipe out, and there is the finished result. One side of it mushroomed a little bit from being inside the exhaust pipe, but other than that, it looks nice. I call this one Baby Snake. And I also have an honorable mention for you. I tried using hot water to bend PVC pipe as well, just by capping one side of the pipe and pouring in hot water into the other side. And I did this multiple times in a span of five to 10 minutes. I poured hot water in, I let it warm up the pipe, I dumped that water out, poured in more boiling water. I did that four times, you know, hoping that it would warm up the pipe enough to where I can bend it. And unfortunately, even after giving it 10 minutes, that pipe would just barely bend. So I abandoned this one. And another thing I tested is to try to bend PVC pipe without revving the car up. So I had the car warm up for 10 minutes before I stuck the pipe in there. Then I left the pipe in there for another 10 minutes. But without revving the car up, the exhaust fumes are not nearly hot enough to do anything to the pipe. When I took that pipe back out, it was still as solid as a rock. Well guys, and that is all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you have any other ways of how to bend PVC pipe that I did not mention in this video, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and we'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comment section below, I got a fun parking space riddle for you. So go ahead and check it out. I think I'll leave it on the screen for 20-30 seconds. If you know what the answer is, let me know in the comments below. Good luck.